Hey, welcome back. It's Casual Respawn. Hey, we're, we're just staring at this dead rat. Yeah, this dead, this dead womp rat. That's what Is we do in our rat? spare time. Yeah. You guys think we have lives? No. No, we, we just work? love this rat. No, we don't go to work. We stare at dead rats. That's and that jam. one, too. That one's my favorite. Oh, yeah. I like him. Good old bitters. He was hey, a good rat. that seems suspicious. Something's going to pop out. What? Here it goes. How it go through here? You don't Absolutely. trust that to go through tiny spaces for no reason? No. Same Here with uh, uh, Maddie, my uh, my wife, plays um, Tomb Raider. Uh, some of the, and she's been playing the newest one recently. Yeah. And uh, whenever you're in caves or you're in like temples or anything, there's always spots where you crawl through a a, a little crevice like that, and I always feel like something's gonna jump out at you. And then yeah. it does. Nothing well, happens. But it, it just gives you that sense of like, oh my gosh, somebody's going to stab me in the arm. Gives you that agita, man. The good old, good, good old fashioned proper agita. All right. Can you imagine just taking a hike on this planet? Just walking through the mountains and all of a sudden this guy's just like doing parkour down there with a lightsaber. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, You'd be like, oh. <laughs> well, all right then. All right, Should so I, I need be worried to get over about there. this man? How does one I want to start doing there? that at my local parks. What's just that? Jump around on rocks carrying a lightsaber. You, you totally should I'd be, do that. I'd be feared. People would run away from me. People would certainly at least call the police. I don't. I don't think people would be <laughs> down for that. I. You know what? I would do it for the experience. The experience. How many people can say they got arrested for carrying a lightsaber? Probably a couple hundred. Oh. If I, I had to so. guess. I guess it can be used as a weapon. Anything can be used as a weapon. Yeah, oh certainly. my gosh, you just murdered that man. My uh my Goat one friend thing. Matt went to a uh he, he went it was like a gym almost, but it was learning how to fight with lightsabers. And it was like an exercise class. So Yeah, he, yeah, you know, I saw that. Yeah, so he knows. He could he <laughs> can mess somebody up with a saber. Yes. You know what it it's just like a bow staff but shorter. Yeah. I'm sure Basically. it has. Hey, any you know what? Anything is better than bare fists. If you, if you got a weapon, yeah. I, or, I well, maybe not a pillow. Well, it depends but, on. I, it's okay, a there's a couple pillow. things that aren't better than your fists. I mean, a pillow could be filled with feathers, or it could be filled with pennies. I mean, so G good point. Good it, point. Really, I could beat you. I could beat the crap out of you with like a, a pillowcase filled with bricks. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that sounds like a, a mob thing to do. It, it does, but honestly, that would be the best selling point for a company that were to sell pillowcases because then you know it's durable. Oh, good point. This pillowcase is machine washable and durable. We filled it with bricks, and we beat the crap out of a guy. And it held, look, no tears. <laughs> no tears, no damage. <laughs> but, well, at least to your pillow. The guy, well, he's had better times. <laughs> better times. And if it rips, you get your money back. Guaranteed. <laughs> I could see that. <laughs> my, it's so by the my pillow guy. <laughs> I love my, my pillow. pillow was machine washable. <laughs> I see his commercials all the time. Uh, he was my just pillow was a uh... unique thing. Billy Mays could sell it. Seriously. Ow. Oh, I miss Billy Mays. Billy Mays was the best. It's just, you know, you just be having like a nice peaceful... You're just watching how it's made on TV, you know, just sitting there. Just kind of chilling, not really thinking too much. And all of a sudden, like, Billy Mays comes onto your TV and screams at you. You yep. know, wakes you up a little bit. Really, makes you pee a little bit. It's just <laughs> that exciting. You're like, oh my gosh, Clorox, this is great. Uh, OxyClean, that's what Oxy I wasn't going to correct you, but... It's all Oxy good. clean. Clorox brother, Oxy clean. It all does the same thing. Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess. My brother had a Soap. account on Guild Wars where he, he named himself High Billy Mary's here. He'd go into towns and start shouting at people. <laughs> on, on MMOs, specifically. I so, believe that. He'd go into the towns like, Hi, Billy Mary's here, and I got this, you know, dead skull for you. And, uh, whatever, whatever it ended up being. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you know what I never got a chance to play was RuneScape. Did you ever, did you ever play that? Uh, no, I have not. 
That was a that was a big game for a while, like a big uh, online game. And like everybody used to play it, and I, I just never never had the chance to get into it. I remember I it existing. I think I've watched a streamer to play it, and I was just kinda like eh. Eh. Yeah. It's, it's just okay. okay. I like my Star Trek online. <laughs> Nerd. I am. Nerd, Matt. Nerd. It's no, nice to meet okay. you. Buddy. Actually, it's, it's a fun game. It is. I'm having a blast. It's not my cup of tea, but it's fine. I to some people, Tuvok. it's fun. What's that? I helped I Tuvok sure. fight some kind of alien creature thing in the game recently. That was one of the you missions helped I did. You Tupac? Tuvok. That's pretty cool. Not Tupac. Tupac. Yeah, Tupac. He, no, no, Tuvok. What's he doing in Star Trek online? He's not in Star Trek, it's Tuvok, man! Is he, is he still rapping? No! That's pretty cool. He's Good not rapping! Him. There's no rapping! No. no, none with words and none with presence! None of it! So, you didn't help Tupac fight aliens? No! It's kind of, it's kind of upsetting to me, Matt. Your face is upsetting to me. Yeah, Thank we all you. have to deal with it, don't we? Oh. Well, oh, sick burn. <laughs> sick burn, Matt. I do I'm that. I'm gonna go home and cry now. You should. Great. I'm gonna go and tell my wife I'm sad. You do, you do that. You, See what you she does for you. Me. Knowing Nothing. her, she probably make you a cookie or something. Oh, yeah. She makes the best cookies. Oh, dude, I, I looked at her the other night. I was like, man, I just have such a craving for sugar cookies. So we went in the kitchen... And she made the best sugar cookies I have ever had. They're really? so good. Oh, uh, Matt, they're just they're just so good. She's like, oh, we can add like chocolate chips to them, or we can do like special flavoring. I was like, no, 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 I just want plain sugar cookies. Nice. And it was it was just so good. They had at my work they're, recently. Uh, um, or actually, it was today. They were feeding us since there's not a lot of us there, uh, and they're trying to be yep. nice since we're essential. And they got us, uh, they're not chocolate chip cookies, but they're the M&M &M cookies. Oh, yeah. Yeah, cookies with M&Ms in it, and it's soft and chewy. I'm like, oh, that's exactly what I want. Oh, oh, oh no, no, no! <laughs> Ooh, we're in your back. Yeah, man. Oh, my gosh. It's not a good time. Uh, dude, uh, Maddie makes these, uh, monster cookies, they're called. I'm It's like listening. an oatmeal cookie with, with, uh... You want to climb up a zip line? Uh, the M and M's. Yep, that was oh. the word I was trying to think of. All right, and it it is so good. I it's mean. like it's peanut it's peanut butter and M and M's and it's everything everything good. Everything good about the world. Everything good. Nice. Just makes me happy. Cookies make me happy. What? I just sit there and eat cookies. You would, you would just sit there and eat cookies, like some I kind do. of fat bum. Well, you know what? I'm happy being a fat bum. All right, fine. As long as you're happy. Oh, okay. So I was supposed to be able to go <laughs> up the line, and for some reason it didn't do that. Not today, buddy. There we go. I don't know what that was about. It's very convenient that this robot just happens to be able to go up zip lines. Yeah, well, he just learned the ability. You saw it. You saw <laughs> me do it. Need you to just saying. To ah! All right, here we go. Woo! Now I can explore. Yeah. That's the cool thing about this game. There's like a little bit of a Metroidvania element, like because you're you're traumatized, you're slowly remembering a little bit more and more about how to do things, like how to oh. fall down holes, for instance. Yeah, you're good at that. I'm, dude. I'm the. He's just remembering. Oh yeah, I remember dying a lot. I uh, I'm this is, the best. This is fun for me. Woo! Oh hey everybody. Hey guys. Wee! Here he goes. Oh. Rest in peace, buddy. And you're dead. Did you just say he's damaged? What's that? Oh what yeah, they'll that say, say that I'm damaged because they if they get hit on me, they're like, oh god, look what we did! <laughs> we didn't miss. We didn't miss. Oh my gosh. Yeah, exactly. We didn't miss. <laughs> hey, buddy. Woo! And there Aww. he goes. Think about his family. Mm, well, they're not gonna be thinking about him anymore. That's for sure. Nope. He's, he's done so. What's over here? Rest in peace, buddy. I can interact with this. I can't call it. it. Never mind. I cannot interact with it. What are you going to call it? I don't know. Well, what's the path mean, up there? I bet, since you called me a fat tub of lard. 
Hmm. Jerk. Lazy butt. Are you calling me Say a lazy it. butt? You, that's what you called me. Are you calling me, me lazy? a lazy butt? Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's not really nice, Speaking but I of get it. Speaking of butt. Now, you know what? I'll, I'll talk about my butt on the next episode. What? Why? Yeah. You know, I, I want to talk about it, man. That's the spoiler. I'll that's talk about that's... My... No, wait a minute. That's going to be <laughs> the, the cliffhanger? <laughs> Talking about your butt? Yeah. It's important that people have a full episode to uh, take in the experience of my butt injury. Oh, I thought you were just going <laughs> to leave it at my butt. I was like, all right, geez. Pompous, ain't we? <laughs> the pomp butt injury, Matt. Okay. <laughs> Okay. It's it's important. People need to think about me. Uh, <laughs> that's the thing. <laughs> they need to they need to think about my butt on a daily basis. 